with Don Bueller here, Euphoria International at uh, the U School in Carlsbad, California. I'm here with Mirza, one of global team member for Euphoria International, and we're going to explain about semi-permanent hair color. And you know, does it coat the hair or does it permeate the hair? So Mirza, you want to open up a little bit? Absolutely. So the biggest, most important thing to remember about any type of hair color is that the integrity and the um, condition of your hair is what's really going to make a huge difference. Yes. Technically speaking, semi-permanent hair color does not permeate the hair. However, if your hair is compromised, dry, or in bad condition, it's going to deposit a lot more color, which means the stain is going to have a longer lasting effect. However, if you use demi-permanent color, it can last six weeks, but it won't permeate the hair. Again, if your hair is compromised, it will stain it longer. So the important thing to do is talk to your stylist about the type of color they have in the salon. Whether it's demi-permanent, whether it's semi-permanent or permanent, your, the condition of your hair is going to make a huge difference on how any one of those colors react on your hair. So the important thing is really, it's a type of hair, and there's all different types of hair type. So if you see somebody with a shiny head of hair that when they shake their head it really moves, that hair is not going to absorb any color at all. In fact, you may roll off if you're not using ammonia or you know other permeators. So when you're thinking of your hair, it could be really shiny, it's not going to permeate at all. Or if you have curly hair or wavy hair and the cuticle's open and it's frizzy, that's going to absorb more hair color. So that helps you when you go into the hair salon so you can you know, sound knowledgeable with your hairdresser and talk to them about it. Is there anything else, Mirza? Is that Absolutely. I would say just make sure before you go in for any color service that you do a consultation with your stylist. Absolutely. Once we actually see the hair, we're much more capable of evaluating what we can and cannot do with it. Um, oftentimes when you call over the phone, the front desk people aren't as knowledgeable as we are. So definitely schedule a consultation and figure out what the best options for your hair type and condition are. You know, and I always tell the consumer, it's so important, always ask for a consultation. And if they're going to charge you for it, don't go. There's a million hair salons that'll do complimentary consultations. Absolutely. You may have to go to one, two, or three hairdressers, Absolutely. but you have to feel confident yes. that that hairdresser knows what they're talking about. And you'll sense that. You know, you'll go by yes. your gut feeling and you'll sense that. So Absolutely. thank you, Mirza. Thank you. And uh, Don Buley, Mirza, Euphoria International.